Gabe, first minutes since the, the one game in Chicago in December. Uh, it's been a long road back. Uh, just can you take us through that process and how you felt and how it got to the point where you were able to play and then how it felt on the floor? Yeah, I mean, obviously it got to a point where, you know, I couldn't compete at the level I needed to to help this team win games. And um, we decided to go on and have surgery. It's a long road to recovery. And we're here now. How did it feel on the court today? Uh, I felt good. I felt good to go out there, have a sweat, compete a little bit. Uh, Get a little stat sheet going, tiny bit here and there. Uh, but it felt good to go out there and run around. We're talking to LeBron, and he said just the first thing, just glad to have you back on the court. Of course, it's going to take some time to get to NBA game speed, and, and you haven't played a lot with these guys. But what are the things that you're focusing on the most with what your skill set is and having watched this team all year and saying, okay, this is where they need me? Just filling in the gaps. That's all. Just filling in the gaps. Go out there, compete defensively when I can on the perimeter. Uh, battle for a board if it comes my way. If not, get the other guy out the way. Um, just doing all the little things. Okay, what did you think of LeBron tonight? <clears throat> I think he was LeBron, man. You know, we needed him down the stretch, and, and he picked up the slack and uh, made some big shots for us. There was a time in, in his career where I think it probably might even still be true, where it's like the three-point shot was like, that's the poison you pick. Uh, this year, he's on You've seen him come up with a real shoot weapon for this. What does that say just about the work that he puts in? that in year 21 he's adding. I mean, to even be able to compete in year 21, that's a testament to the work he puts in. Um, you know, a lot of guys don't even get that many years in. Their bodies can't even do it. Um, so it's a testament to his commitment, his, his work, his diligence on his on self, on his growth, on his game. Um, and to come out and, and to lead us every night the way he does, to still be a top player around the league. You know, LeBron is LeBron. He's kind of in the lane of his own. Obviously, you did everything you could to get ready to be at this point, and then kind of minutes, the stuff's going to be determined by the coaching staff. As we look forward to the rest of this trip, it's a back-to-back. -back. Have you had any discussions about how that could be managed for you and your knee? Uh, I'm going to let them take care of it. You know, I got faith in the training staff and the coaching staff, and, um, you know, they have faith in me to put me in there for whatever minutes they do, and hope I continue to build trust in these guys in this locker room, and we continue to make our push. You know, they've, the Lakers have missed some point of attack defense and just somebody that can get through screens. That obviously, you're able to do that, did some of that tonight. But where, where is the focus on that? Like, a, kind of how important is that to your game? And where do you think that helps the team? I hate when the other team scores, <laughs> simply. So whether it's me getting a stop or me on the bench cheering my guys on to get a stop, I, I hate when they score. So um, if I'm on the court, I'm going to do whatever I can to keep them from scoring. For the three-point barrage from LeBron, you know, you guys came out with a 15-0 run, um, had them what, to maybe 11 points in the first quarter, Rui and LeBron helping you on the glass. Just uh, what, How did you guys come out that focused defensively and kind of start to get some of that identity back? Uh, just bouncing back from our game against Indiana. Uh, we didn't play really good defensively. Um, and obviously we know this is a team who we got a lot of offensive threats, and we just want to come out uh, and set the tone defensively. Um, and we did that in the first quarter. A little rude of LeBron to hit that many threes when you've been hitting more threes lately to just drown out your, your makes uh, like that? No, I mean, he 9 for 10. Um, and then the ones that he was shooting wasn't hitting the rim. Uh, it's always great to watch. I mean, you know, most points in NBA history, you know, and he just continued to add to it. But the way he's... Um, the way he shot it tonight, uh, masterful. What kind of threat have you seen that uh, part of this game been since you guys have been teammates, just as it's long ago? Yeah, it was becoming a three-level score. Um, you know, when he shoot the ball like that, I think he's over 40%, 42%. So after tonight, he probably like 43, 44. But, you know, it, you know obviously guys know he's a, a powerful driver. Um, and you can't now can't go under his threes, you know, his screens because he'll shoot them. So uh, and he'll make them. So uh, you know, he's been since I've been here. He's been constantly in the gym working on you know his shot, and uh, it's showing over. And now it's you know, even tougher to guard him. What you think of in his return? No, we saw it. And you know, um, you know, obviously it's a you know a feel thing, rhythm thing to get back out there. But he looked he looked really really well. Um, on both ends on the floor to me. Um, we had some miscues. Uh, I know I did, you know, with him. Um, but that's just coming back with, you know, being part of the team and, you know, uh, game reps. So, but overall, I think he looked really solid. He did a lot. Yeah, yeah. He told me he was he was going through it earlier. Uh, so he told me just, you know, his timing, you know, to get his timing back. So. As, as great as LeBron is, I mean, just when he 
you did stuff like this, does it still come as a surprise at all, or there's nothing surprised with him? Just, what's it like being on the court with him when he's doing this? Yeah, I mean, uh, I've never been on the court where he made nine for ten for three, so um, still a surprise. Like I said, the way he was shooting them, um, the run out in the left corner or in front of them or on their side of the floor. Um, I mean, he's one toeing into it. He's hopping into it. He's fading. Man. I mean, he was just doing everything tonight from the three point line. So uh, the only one he didn't do was the one, the one leg runner that he usually shoots. Um, but. Yeah, man. Like I said, it was it was masterful just to sit here and you know watch that. Um, you know, he, he got us. You know, he got a separation in there. How much is Rui's picking things up defensively? Rebounding. How much does that help you guys? How much does it change things? Uh, it helps us a lot. I mean, um, Rui, his job is to rebound the ball as well. So. Um, you know, he's just doing what we asked him to do. Um, you know, he's going to play four-ish, three-ish. Uh, you know, he has to help us rebound the ball. And, um, you know, we we always on really We know how good he is and how good he can be. And, you know, we just try to um, get him involved on the offensive end. And uh, we put him on tough matchups defensively. And uh, but then that you know we can switch a lot and then now he's on bigs where he has to rebound the basketball. So um, you know when he's rebounding the basketball, you know, I think he had double double night. He had ten. Um, it just gives us uh, more times to you know get out and run and transition because he's able to you know get it off the glass and push. Indy was a last two. Eighty defensively, um, only eleven points in the first quarter. Twenty-five only in the fourth for them. What did you like about where you guys were at? And Obviously, that start. Yeah, I mean, we tried to come out and set the tone defensively. Um, you know, we let him back into it in the third, and even a little bit in the second. Then hit a 33 point second quarter, if I'm not mistaken. 33 in the second. So, um, you know, we want to be better in those two quarters to end the half and to start the half. But uh, for the most part, I think we did a really good job defensively and, um, you know, just trying to set the tone, knowing that uh, more than likely when we're not clicking offensively, defense going to win us those game, games. Indy was one of those tough games schedule-wise, just third game, four nights, et cetera. Now you're about to have uh, – it'll be three and four with Toronto and Washington on a back-to-back. -back. How do you guys kind of muster that energy and this final push as you as you head back? Yeah, the final way. Uh, uh, you know, we're trying to um, constantly just climb in the standings, but uh, win basketball games and the schedule is the schedule. There's nothing we can do about it. You know, we got to make sure that we, you know, get our rest and, and, you know, get prepared for two other teams who in the same position, but got good players that can play. So, um, I mean, we was in a close one against Washington at home. So, um, and Toronto, you know, <laughs> you know, so, you know, we can't, obviously the team is a little different, Toronto, but we got to um, come in with the, with the same approach of starting off fast defensively and um, getting stops, but also learning from tonight where we got to come out in the halves better, especially the second quarter and uh, start the half better, um, second half to uh, maintain our leads and, um, you know, do what we got to do and now our starters and some of our uh, role players can get some rest and uh, you know, let our, our, our young guys play. It's not too often that you get the, the standing ovation in a road arena. I know it's happened before. Uh, when you're feeling that kind of energy, the, the shots are falling, how does that kind of all work together for you on a court? Um, I mean, obviously, it's a, it's, a, it's a really good feeling when you have it going and, uh, and you're winning. You know, that's the most important for me. But, um, you know, the appreciation for the fans here, you know, I just try to give them the game back. And, you know, uh, it was you know, very well received. And uh, I just try to reciprocate that by going out and playing the game that I love to play at a high level. You've talked before about that Spurs series earlier in your career and about kind of continuing to develop the outside shot and obviously been working on it for many years, but I think you're nine percentage points up from last year, um, 41 and a half this year on a high volume. Uh, what, is there anything at all specific or different that you, you did to kind of find this rhythm of this season from three? Um, I've been able to be on the floor a lot more during, during non-game days. Um, my foot has felt a lot better. Um, I didn't have much time to like 
really rep a lot last year because I had to make sure that I could be on the floor running around or putting, you know, much, uh, you know, pounding on the, on, the, on, the, on the floor with my foot. So I've had a lot of opportunity to, like, get on the floor. And, uh, and you probably see me before every game out on the floor working on my game, working on my craft. Um, so that that's helped out a lot, too. And uh, just try to stay consistent with my shot. Um, you know, same shot every time. And, um, and also just work. Just work, 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 work. Did you feel momentum shifting um, there in the fourth when they had cut it to eight? And, and, um, yeah. How quickly did you feel it shift? <laughs> I mean, obviously the long ball in our game is definitely um, a momentum shifter. You know, so, um, you know, obviously Cam got it going. And um, you know, they hit a couple of threes and cut it to, you know, I think, 11 before they – was eight? They got the eight at the end of the third. Uh, early 11 in the, fourth. In the third. 11 in the third, and then they got the eight early in the fourth. So I'm um, just trying to make my mark, see if I can get it going too. You got to be able to score in this league as well. You know, you got to be able to stop, but you got to keep scoring too. And uh, I was, um, I was able to, keep, I was able to you know, get a hot streak. Are you always going to have a game that's like triple threat? Shoot. Was there a stage of your career when you can recall where the three-point shot became more important for you to, to add or to lean on? Uh, well, I, I don't never have to lean on it because um, I can I can do so much. I can score at any level of the floor, you know, basically once I cross half court. Um, you know, I can score in the post. I can score off pick and rolls. I can score off the ball, off cutting, or, you know, you know, being a recipient of my teammates making a play for me. Um but, you know, being able to have a growth mindset and be able to work on things that the league is changing to, you know, um, the league is a heavy three-point shooting league. I'm not a, you know, one of those guys that want to go out there and shoot, you know, 12, 14, 15 threes a game, but um, I want to be respected and, and teams have to play me from the outside. I know that's still kind of one thing that, um, you know, teams still want to be like, okay, well, if you have to give up something, we'd much rather shoot the ball from the outside, but... You know, shooting the long ball and also making my free throws. That's uh, has been very important for me this season and the last few seasons, honestly. What you make of Gabe in his return? Uh, first of all, I just told him, happy to have you back, man. Uh, congrats and happy to have you back out there. And, you know, obviously it's going to, you know, first, first action in so many months, you know, the legs and your lungs is going to be the first thing to go. Um, but I thought he was great in the minutes that he uh, – the minutes that he was out there, and it was great to have him back. Well, this is the second, second game that Cam Thomas has had a big scoring night on you guys. Just curious of your opinions of him as an emerging young scorer in this league. Uh, he does that to everybody. How long do you, Last question. How long do you expect to continue playing in the NBA, LeBron? Uh, nine out of ten at your age and with your, uh, with your accomplishments, this is still like a hit earner for a lot of people. Yeah, uh, not very long. Not very long. Um, I'm on the other side, obviously at a hill, so uh, I'm not going to play another 21 years. That's for damn sure. But uh, not very long. Um, I don't know what uh, when that door will close as far as my when I retire, but I don't have much time left. Thanks, LJ. Yep. Danjo, real quick. So you know you've made a living in this building for years. You're a fan favorite. People love you here. What's so special about coming back to this building and taking the court and performing for everyone in the audience? Uh, it's cool. It's real cool. Um, it's one of the few places that appreciates me, um, you know, cheers for me. You know, a lot of places I go, I get booed. So it's just a new, new feeling. Uh, so I always, embrace, I always embrace that. And you don't let the booze, like, deter you at all, nah, obviously. never. Care. You couldn't care less? Nope. Good. Cool. Oh, shit. I'm gonna get my uh, I'm gonna get my brands off since y'all don't got yeah. no questions. Shout out to the boy, man. Ten thousand points for the boy. Since nobody knows, it's all right. Shout out to the brand. Where can we find that? Where where can you find it? Yeah. Shoot. Well, uh, Webway.com. Y'all tune in. You got questions on my phone, man. Hey, you're still the uh, all-time leading three-point uh, shooter in Nets history uh, for a season. I think it's 224. Uh, so how do, how do you feel about that, still holding that record here? And Man, oh, it's a blessing for sure um, to have that in multiple different franchises. Um, it's always a blessing to get recognized for your individual accolades for sure. 
Um, I know I put the work in, so I mean, it's it's just something I really appreciate. It's not something I look forward to 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 to, to doing going into the season. It's not something I I was focused on or anything like that. I just played, and this was the result. So um, I'm beyond blessed for sure. And one more. Speaking of three porters, when LeBron has a game like that, nine of ten, you know. Is it possible for him to do anything that shocks you on the basketball court? Me? No, I play with him. I've seen it. Um, I've been watching him for a long time. Now I'm alongside. Um, it's hard to be impressed. Um, it almost just looks normal at this point. So for him to continue and to con keep inspiring the youth and, and keeping the gas on the, on the pedal. You don't see a ton of standing ovations right, for a road player. What did you make of LeBron's night? It's incredible. I, you know, <laughs> told him in the huddle before his last little stretch, and then we ultimately subbed him out. Uh, just extremely thankful that he packed the cape on the road trip. He needed all nine of those threes, kind of dropped the rope in terms of what we were doing that, that established the lead and came out in the third quarter, turned the ball over way too much. Uh, but that said, you know, you have to just overcome this thing and you don't have time to complain and, and moan about what's the negative that's happening to you in the moment. You just got to keep fighting, keep scratching and try to figure it out to correct, to correct the situation that you're in. And we were able to do that by some huge shot making by him. Uh, our guards did a great job, defensive rebounding. A did a great job as always, defensive rebounding. Rui. Um, and, you know, Brian caught fire and, and, and just carried us home. You mentioned the turnovers. I think it was 10 in the third quarter uh, after five in the first half. You know, trying to integrate another guard into things, some different lineups. Uh, was that any part to do with it or was there just... I, just, I obviously have to go back and look at the tape, but I thought a lot of guys turned down some, some looks. And when you do that, you know, you put yourself up against the eight ball because now the rhythm is off. You know, we... Whether we're posting the ball up, playing out a pick and roll, or driving the ball, once the ball is swung, that swing, swing, you either got to shoot it or drive it to score. Um, and I felt like we just, whether the guys, the ball didn't feel right when they hit certain guys' hands. I don't know what the case was. Again, we'll go back and look at it, but um, you know, we, 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 we didn't shoot in rhythm. Uh, didn't feel like we were shot ready on a couple of those possessions. And, and a couple of other ones, we just mishandled the ball. And so, um, you know, it's just great to, to win in spite of all those hiccups, but, you know, we got to tighten it up because, you know, in this journey to the playoffs, you know, we got to be able to put together consistent, productive possessions uh, on both sides of the ball. And offensively, we can't, you know, allow the teams to get life just based off our mistakes. We got to force them to work in order to score and be successful against our defense. This is the third time that Ruiz had a double-double with rebounds in the past four games. I mean, we've talked about this, about him. Uh, but just how much do you guys have to consistently remind him? I think last game he didn't have a single rebound, and now it comes back and bounces back with, I think, 10 tonight. Yeah, it's something that we constantly challenge him on. Um, tonight, you know, it was a little bit different but with no Jackson out there. Uh, so he had to play some minutes at the five, and, you know, he, he was determined to go out there and not just try to, you know, get in position for the ball to come to him, but to go snatch some rebounds. He did a great job just going to get the ball. Uh, but that's a part of his game that I think, you know, he's working to get better at and, 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 and working to be consistent at. And so um, he, uh, he, w he was great tonight on the glass for sure. Darvin, two, two for you, um, what did you think of Gabe tonight and what he was able to give you? Um, how did he look? I thought for a guy uh, that's been out that long, he came in, had some big possessions. Um, defensively, he was trying to get after it. Um, offensively, that time is going to come. You know, he'll see his shot go in. Uh, but I think just, just him getting thrown out there, <laughs> he had the only bucket off our bench, ironically. Uh, but, you know, he'll get there. It's going to take a little bit of time. Uh, but what I saw, you know, is a guy trying to get his rhythm in the right area. Like, when you come back from that long of a layoff, you know, the tendency is you just how the ball feels, how the climate feels in terms of the torque, the force in which – you know, you out there on the court with nine other guys playing at a very high level. Uh, you got to figure out that the little things is are what is going to get you back in rhythm. And he he did that. He started on the defensive end to find his rhythm and had some tough matchups that he had to switch off on with Cam Thomas and Miles and, and, and Dennis. And so 
I'm, I'm, I was encouraged by his pop and uh, his speed, his energy, and it'll just continue to get better. We'll see how he feels once he wakes up in the morning. Um, pre-game, Jared went through a pretty extensive on-court work. Um, I, I saw you out there watching it. Um, how encouraged are you with his progress and where he's at? And um, is there what? What's kind of next for him? Uh, just not to skip any steps. Just to keep th- taking things day by day, and and don't listen to whoever's out there putting target dates on his return. Just just maximize each day. Try to get better each day, and just just stick to the plan. Gabe had to do the same thing. J, uh, JB has to do the same thing as well. Just stick to the plan. We can't expect nine for ten type performances for LeBron every night from three, but there has been. Sit there and see what the formula is and what's working and come out. You know, once they step on the floor, the end of the game, you got to be ready to hit the ground running, doing exactly what you just saw your teammates do to establish the lead. And so, uh, and, and, and at the bottom line, the bottom line is just play with confidence. Don't second guess yourself. You know, just play with confidence. Don't think you're taking shots away from this person or this person. You open shooting. There's a lane driving. When someone steps in the way, be ready to pass it. It's as simple as that. Just believe in in the process of playing the right way on the offensive end uh, consistently. That's it. Thanks, coach. D'Angelo, real quick, so, you know, you've made a living in this building for years. You're a fan favorite. People love you here. What's so special about coming back to this building and taking the court and performing for everyone in the audience? Uh, It's cool. It's real cool. Um, It's one of the few places that appreciates me, Um, you know, cheers for me. You know, a lot of places I go, I get booed. So it's just a new new feeling. Uh, So I I always embrace that. And you don't let the booze like deter you at all. Obviously, nah, I don't never. Care. You couldn't care less. Nope. Good. Cool. Well, shit. I'm gonna get my uh, I'm gonna get my brands off since y'all don't got yeah. no questions. Shout out to the boy, man. Ten thousand points for the boy. Since nobody knows, it's all right. Shout out to the brand. Where can we find that? Where Where can you find it? Yeah. Shoot. Uh, Webway.com. Hey, you're still the uh, all-time leading three-point uh, shooter in Nets history uh, for a season. I think it's 224. Uh, so how do how do you feel about that? Still holding that record here? And Man, oh, it's a blessing for sure. Um, to have that in multiple different franchises, um, it's always a blessing to get recognized for your individual accolades, for sure. Um, I know I put the work in, so I mean, it's it's just something I really appreciate. It's not something I look forward to 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 to, to doing going into the season. It's not something I I was focused on or anything like that. I just played, and this was the result. So um, I'm beyond blessed for sure. And one more. Speaking of three porters, when LeBron has a game like that, nine of ten. You know, is it possible for him to do anything that shocks you on a basketball court? Me? No, I play with him. I've seen it. Um, I've been watching for a long time. Now I'm alongside. Um, it's hard to be impressed. Um, it almost just looks normal at this point. So for him, just continuing to con- keep inspiring the youth and, and keeping the gas on the, on the pedal. Thanks,